So this course is numerical methods for engineers and obviously numerical methods is going to be an important part of this course since it's right in the title of the course and the first thing we could do is talk about what numerical methods even is and in, in doing this uh, I, I think that the point is well illustrated by a joke and and it goes something like this you have a mathematician and an engineer and and there's this this contest and uh, there's different versions depending on uh, for what the prize is but basically uh, there's a prize for the winner and you have to get across a basketball court starting at one end of the basketball court you have to cross the, to the other side of the basketball court and the mathematician and the engineer line up um, and the rule is you can only go halfway there in each step so they they take off and and you know the first time they go halfway across the the basketball court and uh, they're both there and then uh, okay next time you go and then they go halfway again and and they do this a few times and uh, it turns out after after just a few a few rounds of doing this you know uh, the engineer gets gets really close to the end and he's like yeah that's close enough and so uh, when he when he gets close enough to the end he just steps all the way to the end where you know the mathematician is being very careful because he knows that if he only goes that he can only go halfway in each step and uh, <laughs> and so the engineer wins um, because the mathematician he'll he'll never make it and he'll never make it because he never approximates <laughs> and so uh, you've had a lot of math classes already and what we have here is a situation where on the one hand we have numerical methods okay and numerical methods are sort of the engineers methods they're approximate they're not exact and and we get the wrong answer and we know it okay but it's it is well it is the wrong answer and we realize that it's if we use a good numerical method we, we know that we're not off by very far and 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 we'll get into exactly how we figure out how far we off how far off we are and if we're okay with that and everything else but um, numerical methods then are set up as opposed to approximate methods Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, that's not, not true. <laughs> numerical methods are set up in opposition to um, analytical methods. Okay, analytical methods are exact, and numerical methods are approximate. Now you might not realize it yet, but you're you're actually no stranger to analytical methods. In fact, uh, many of the courses that you've been taking, all of your math courses, are uh, setting you up, teaching you analytical uh, methods for solving math problems. So, for example, we have algebra. I hope you all took algebra. It's a prerequisite for the course. Uh, we have calculus and uh, linear algebra and differential equations is also uh, a prerequisite for this course. Uh, we have both ordinary and partial differential equations. Uh, similarly, uh, for numerical methods, in this, that's, so that's what we're going to have in this course is numerical methods and we actually end up uh, covering a lot of the same topics. So for algebra, we're going to do things like root finding, uh, which was one of those topics that we had in algebra. In linear algebra, we, we solve uh, the equation b equals a x, or depending on how they taught it to you, or ax equals b. Same, same thing, two different ways of thinking about it and uh, we learn about all the different ways that we could solve that equations that equation but um, in an approximate way not necessarily requiring us to have uh, an exact answer and then we also have calculus concepts uh, in calculus you may remember doing uh, integration right integration uh, differentiation Also, 
uh, optimization. Um, probably did a fair amount of optimization. Uh, these are all topics that we're also going uh, to cover in this course. Um, we're also going to cover uh, numerical methods for solving differential equations. And so keep in mind as we go through this course that these methods are going to run parallel. The analytical methods parallel to the numerical methods. And so um, it's important whenever you learn anything new to make connections with the prior knowledge that you have. And so when we learn about all these different numerical methods, don't forget about the analytical methods that you've spent so much time learning, but draw comparisons and we can contrast and compare how we are doing things and how they're similar to the other ways we do things. And we're, we're often going to be reminding you of the ways that you learned uh, for solving the different uh, methods analytically and then comparing the numerical approach to that.